This next video covers graphing a line given its equation in slope intercept form. This time we're going to have integer slopes. So slope intercept form of the line is uh, y equals mx plus b where m is our slope and b is our y intercept. In order to find the slope intercept form we always solve for y. So if I'm giving something in standard form we solve for y and it will tell us a lot more about that line. We don't know what this line looks like, but now we know the slope. We know where it crosses the y-axis. This is really, really good. So here are a couple examples. So here I have a slope of 3 fourths and a y-intercept of negative 3. Here I have a slope of 2. And my y-intercept is 0, right? We thought we're adding 0, but we wouldn't actually write that. So we just let it fall off. What is slope though? Well, slope is our change in y over our change in x. It's our vertical change over our horizontal change. Some people also say it's our rise over our run. So this example has a slope of three because we go up three over one. Three over one is three. Now, the types of slopes we're going to be looking at today are two types of slopes. So we're going to have positive slope and negative slope. Well, what does that look like? I'm so glad you asked. So we have positive slope that looks like it's going uphill. And we have negative slope that looks like it's going downhill. So that's one way to always check yourself. Make sure if our slope is negative, it's going downhill. Positive, your line is going uphill. So let's go ahead and graph four equations and get some practice. Graphing is one of the most important things that we're going to cover that you'll need to know for going into intermediate algebra, college algebra, anything like that. So here I have y equals negative x plus 2. We'll graph that in blue. My y-intercept is 2 and my slope is negative 1. So I could write that as negative 1 over 1 since it's an integer. That means I'm going to have a right change in y, so I'm going to go down because it's negative, down 1 and right 1. We always go to the right. So here's my y-intercept of 2, 1, 2. I'm going to go down 1 over 1. And I need to find at least two points, because if I have two points, there's only one possible line I could draw. If I only had one, I could draw infinitely many lines through that point. But let's practice again. I go down one over one, down one over one. So we can go ahead and graph this line as neatly as possible. And then we label it. This is the line y equals negative x plus 2. I put arrows at the end because the line keeps going on and on forever. It doesn't just stop because my coordinate plane uh, stops. Let's do another example. Green. I've got y equals x minus 8, so my y-intercept is negative 8. And my slope is 1. It's positive, so it's going uphill. I'm going to go up 1, right 1. Again, we always go to the right. So I go to negative 8 first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So negative 8. I'm going to go up 1 over 1. Up 1 over 1. And I go positive. So you kind of notice this pattern. Here's our line. y equals x minus 8. So I'm going to give you a second. Just really look at how I graph that line. Before we do our next two examples, I am going to clear um, our markings. So now we need to plot the next two. I have y equals negative 3x minus 1. I'm going to do this one in blue. Negative 1 is my y-intercept, so I can go ahead and plot that, right? There's negative 1. And my slope is negative 3, so it's going to be going down 3 and then right 1. We always put any integer is a fraction with a denominator of 1. So I'm going to go down 3 over 1. I can do that again. Down 3 over 1. As many times as I need. I really only need to find two points, but sometimes it's nice to identify a pattern. So here's my line. 
y equals negative 3x minus 1. Our next example is y equals 3x plus 7. 7 is my y-intercept. That's going to be the first point I plot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's that one right there. My slope is 3, which is positive, which means I'm going to go up 3 and then right 1. We always go to the right. So I'm going to go up 3, right 1 to find that second point, and then I can draw my line through those two points. So this is the line y equals 3x plus 7.